Have you ever wondered what really happens when a woman swallows a man's sperm? Stick around, because before we dive into that, let's uncover some psychological facts that everyone should know. How to love someone who doesn't love themselves. Falling in love with someone who struggles with self-love is a journey filled with challenges and heartache. Loving such a person can be incredibly difficult, as their self-doubt and criticism can gradually seep into your own sense of self, potentially leading to your own self-esteem struggles. It's undeniably tough to care deeply for someone who lacks confidence and self-compassion. However, if you're committed to guiding them towards self-discovery and love, here are some ways to help. 1. Fixing problems. You can't solve someone else's problems for them. You need to acknowledge that. Your partner must confront their own issues. While you can offer support to help them navigate their self-esteem challenges, you can't step into their shoes and fix things for them. They have to face their challenges on their own, but with your support, the journey can become more manageable. 2. Be the boost they need. Your partner may often get lost in feelings of worthlessness, unable to see anything positive about themselves. This is where you can step in, highlight their strengths and positive qualities, and engage in encouraging conversations that uplift them. Consistently remind them of their admirable traits and the good they possess. 3. Don't ignore speaking up about your needs. While it's important to praise your partner, it's equally crucial to address any issues in the relationship. Don't shy away from discussing what's missing out of fear of upsetting them or damaging their self-esteem. Remember, your needs matter just as much in the relationship. 4. Ample praises during success. Be prepared to celebrate every time your partner achieves something. Acknowledge their successes wholeheartedly, as this will significantly boost their confidence. Knowing that their biggest supporter is always cheering them on will provide them with the strength and positivity they need to keep moving forward in life. 5. Share your experience of how you came to love yourself. Stories hold significant power, especially when shared by someone close. By sharing how you overcame negativity and self-doubt to reach your current place, you can inspire your partner to begin their own journey towards self-love. Knowing that progress happens one step at a time can be incredibly encouraging. Ways your partner may romantically manipulate you. There's a subtle difference between being romantically possessive and being manipulative. When in love, it can be difficult to recognize this distinction, but it's crucial to identify the signs of romantic manipulation. This occurs when someone you're romantically involved with behaves or speaks in ways that reveal deeply manipulative tendencies. They may appear ideal on the surface, but their actions can be problematic beneath the facade. Here are some clear signs that your partner might be romantically manipulating you. 1. Making you feel guilty. Your partner won't miss an opportunity to make you feel guilty over even the smallest things. They'll say something hurtful, and then quickly try to cover it up by expressing their love for you. This tactic leaves you feeling guilty for not meeting their expectations. 2. Isolate you from your close ones. They love you so much that they want you all to themselves. If you mention plans to spend an evening with friends or take a short trip with your parents, your partner might act disappointed. They may then subtly create obstacles to keep you from spending time with others. 3. Victimize themselves. If you confront your partner about their erratic behavior, they will swiftly shift into the role of a victim, aiming to elicit your sympathy. They might say things like, it's all my fault, I'm so sorry for disappointing you. This tactic can make you feel pity, causing you to back off and let them win the situation. 4. Moving too fast in the relationship. Your partner might say, I love you, prematurely in the relationship, creating a sense of obligation for you to respond in kind. They may try to accelerate the relationship to make it exclusive, and their behavior could make you feel guilty for not being on the same page. As a result, 
you might feel pressured to move quickly, as if you're being pulled into the relationship against your will. 5. Reaction to fights and arguments. Your partner is likely to resort to giving you the silent treatment, ignoring fights or arguments. They may remain silent and make no effort to resolve issues unless you conform to their way of thinking. They will probably only break their silence when you give in to their demands. 6. Gaslight you. Gaslighting occurs when someone responds to a confrontation by shifting the focus to the other person, making them question their own perception of reality. If you confront your partner about a lie they've told, they might deflect by questioning your sanity, suggesting that you're being irrational. They may even say things like, you're being crazy, leaving you feeling compelled to apologize instead. Confessions from women who want more sex than their husbands. The idea that women are naturally submissive and less interested in sex is increasingly outdated in today's world. Many women openly express dissatisfaction with their sexual experiences when their partners fail to meet their needs. This challenges the stereotype that women don't desire sex. To illustrate this, here are some anonymous confessions from women who desire sex more than their partners do. 1. Taking the initiative. After a long day at work, my husband and I often find ourselves exhausted. Despite this, I make an effort to set aside time for intimate moments in bed. Unfortunately, my husband doesn't share the same enthusiasm and tends to fall asleep as soon as I try to initiate something sexy. It's frustrating to always be the one taking the lead. 2. Return of the toys. Before my marriage, I bought a vibrator but discarded it once I got married, thinking it wouldn't be needed. Now, my husband has gifted me a new vibrator to help me stay satisfied while he's busy. I hate to admit it, but I do feel relieved to have this small source of pleasure in my sexless marriage. 3. Feeling judged. Whenever I bring up sex with my husband, I feel judged and out of place. He appears uninterested in making either of us feel good, and it becomes even more uncomfortable when I ask for sex. The look on his face clearly shows his disapproval. 4. Sometimes without sex, there's no love. My husband and I once enjoyed a lively sex life, connecting three to four times a week. Now, it seems like he's only focused on enjoying a good meal and a restful night's sleep. It's painful to see him engaging in sex with me merely to avoid conflict, rather than out of genuine desire. Why can't he enjoy sex as much as I do? 5. Sex as a chore. My husband treats sex like a chore he's obligated to perform. It's disheartening to be the one always initiating it. I even had to ask him to have sex on our honeymoon, but he preferred we go sightseeing instead. Asking for sex frequently makes me feel needy and clingy. Here are the facts you've been waiting for. When a woman swallows a man's sperm, she becomes exposed to certain proteins and hormones that can potentially influence her immune system and mood. If you agree with these points, type yes in the comments and let me know your favorite part of this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.